Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up the Dolphin emulator so you can emulate GameCube games and Wii games. The process is exactly the same. So I want to first state that this video is not condoning piracy. This video is for educational purposes only and for legal purposes, I recommend that you own the game that you get hold of as well to play with the emulator. And I recommend that you own the Wii console as well. I've got the Wii console and I've got the Wii game that I'll be trying. So first of all, let me show you where you can get the games from. So if you go to your Chrome browser and if you type in vim.net and if you zoom in and go to the vault from here, you can find Wii and then from here you can search for your game or select the first letter that it begins with i will be doing mario kart wii because that's a game that i own and a game that i really like so from here you can select one of three formats let's leave it as the default nkit.iso that's a pretty well compressed file so let's click download you'll start downloading it you will just click download i'm going to click cancel because i've already got it downloaded so that downloads it as a 7-zip file. So now if we go to Play Store, search for Z Archiver. And if you install this, I've already got it installed. Also, you need to search for Dolphin Emulator. And again, install this, I've already got it installed. So if you was on here and you wanted a GameCube game, You can also, oh, that's a PS3. You can also get GameCube as well. Really simple, same process as before. So now if you go to Z Archiver and your games by default will be downloaded into download. If you go into here and select the zip file, this one right here, the .7z. And if you select extract to .4 slash less than archive name greater than 4 slash, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and it takes a bit of time. But if you select that, you'll take a bit of time, maybe a few minutes, depending on your phone and depending on the size of the game. And if you go here, it's extracted it into an ISO. That's great. We can go off Z Archiver. I recommend this application anyway as a file manager. It is fantastic. It's my favorite file manager currently. Now, if you open up Dolphin Emulator, and if you go to GameCube, to be able to play your GameCube games, you go to Wii, it's your play to play your Wii games. So before we go into here, go to the gear icon, and if we go to graphic settings, you can change the video backend. Feel free to experiment. You can choose the OpenGL or Vulkan graphics API, which will run physically on the graphics chip or software, which will emulate basically, you will run the graphics on the CPU. Software pretty much always slower. They would do OpenGL or Vulkan. OpenGL would generally yield the best results. You can show the frame rate if you want to. You can change the aspect ratio. I recommend leaving it on auto. If you go to enhancements, you can change the internal resolution so it looks a little sharper, a little crisper, depending on the device you are using and the game itself. It will your performance will vary. So I recommend experimenting because I'm recording. I'm going to leave it as the lowest because when you're recording, things can slow down a little bit. Feel free to experiment with some of these settings. I would recommend you read the description. Most of it you can leave. And you can also... Could you give me where are these settings that I'm looking for? I'm looking for a particular setting. Nope, sorry, we can ignore that. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Compile shaders before starting. So the, I'll select that. The, the great thing about this is when you first launch up a game, because you'll be compiling some shaders, it can slow down a little bit. This method, it takes a little longer to load, but you got less risk of the game lagging at the start. So now you can just click the save icon. Again, if you go to the settings, you can change the configuration for audio. Feel free to experiment with that. You can change for GameCube stuff, like the language. You can change Wii-specific settings as well. So feel free to experiment. And if you have any questions, 
feel free to pop me a message on Discord. There'll be a link in the description. And you can also change the input as well. So by default, you'll have it as emulated. Unless you have a real Wii remote, you'll need what's called a Dolphin Bar. Feel free to Google, get in hold of one of them. And if you click emulated, it'll allow you to change the mapping. So if you had a controller connected to your Android device, maybe an Xbox controller, you could map it directly onto this and play it. Okay, so now let's go back. So to actually get your game to appear, if you are on GameCube, you go here and click this plus icon in the bottom right. If you're on Wii, you go to the Wii section and click this plus button on the bottom right. Now, once this launches up, by default, you'll have something along these lines. Go to download, go to your folder, click use this folder, click allow, and now your games will appear there. You could put all your games, all your ISO files that you've extracted into one, let's say Wii games folder, and that way, it'll just automatically update and you can click the refresh icon in the top right. So now to play your game, you just click the game. And again, remember, it can take a few seconds to load just because we were pre-compiling shaders. So now we are playing the game and I can press A. We're going to turn the volume off, press A, yeah, press A. I've already created a profile and you can use the screen to basically mm -hmm. emulate the mm -hmm. cursor, which is pretty darn cool. And obviously you can use the arrows and the stick as well on the left. That stick is representing the nunchuck. Okay, so if we go to, let's say, Grand Prix, go to 50cc, choose Mario. And click A again, click automatic, Luigi circuit, OK. And my experience with this emulator has been fantastic. The performance has been great. I've got a Google Pixel 5, so it helps if you have a higher end device. And But it is very well optimized. The team behind it is fantastic. Experienced a bit of lag there. That can vary depending on phone game. And also, more importantly, I'm recording. so. You, I'm going to get more lag than I usually do. Usually it runs actually smoother than this. And as you can see, I can play an old classic like Mario Kart. And obviously this will be even better if you have a... There we go. How do I... There we go. Be even better if I have a dedicated controller connected. You could have a controller like a Bluetooth device like a Xbox One controller, or you could go a step further and have one of those attachment controllers that you can attach the left side and the right side to the left and right side of your device, almost looking like a Nintendo Switch, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, so there we go. And if you want to pause the actual, or go off the emulator, you, what you do is just essentially, click back on your device for me i swipe from the right and you'll get this menu i can click pause emulation so if i was in the game itself and you're playing i could pause it and then you would click on pause you can take a screenshot very simple you can go to the settings in game and modify them you can overlay the controls so if you want to overlay them you can do so toggle controls you can toggle them as well right here there's a lot of stuff that you can do. You can reset the overlay, change rumble. You can edit the layout so you can move stuff around. Let me go back. And that is it. Obviously, feel free to connect remotes. Click exit emulation. That'll take you back to this menu. Simple stuff allows you to play GameCube and Wii games on your Android device for free. Again, this video is for educational purposes. This is not condoning piracy. I recommend that you own the game and, and a Wii itself. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.